My name is Dakota Garza and I am a senior. Having gotten the Beat the Odd scholarship has been really great for me because I feel that's pretty much exactly what I've done. When I lived with my mom, it was always definitely um, chaotic. She always just had this urge to leave and go do something new. When I got into high school, that's kind of when I really started to realize, like, this is not normal. I have worked with her and her mom closely over the last four years. She has come from a background that's very unstable. I was tired of sleeping in cars and just kind of being dragged around to shelters and missions. As I grew up, um, the periods where I was homeless became shorter and shorter, but it just happened more frequently. And so this time was probably the biggest move that we had ever done by going to San Diego. As soon as we got there, we had gotten in some pretty big fights. She's always been like pretty verbally and um, mentally abusive. I just, I guess I had assumed that maybe going to California would be like a new start. All of the old problems that we had here in Medford would be left behind. And that was my hope. And she was just saying these things and I just kind of looked at her like just from a different perspective and just told myself like, I don't need you and I don't need this. Finally, the police started getting involved and they said, if you don't want to go with her, you're going to have to have some legal documentation. Within an hour, the judge actually wanted to see me. She read my story and she just kind of said, you know, is this true? And I said, yeah, and it's been going on for a long time now. So she granted me a temporary restraining order. My best friend's family bought me a Greyhound bus ticket. And I came here and um, I was supposed to stay with my grandma and I called her. I had no money, I literally had like 50 cents and she was the first person that I called and she said, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna let you stay with me. Um, and so that like really hit me hard. I came to my high school and I sat down with my counselor because she's always been there for me. I've gone through this journey the last four years, working with her when she went to California and then returned to Oregon to going to court for her and representing her during emancipation. She told me to go down to the Maslow Project, which is um, our local organization that helps homeless teens. As soon as I went down there, it just really felt like I was home. They provided me with the material and the money to do what I wanted to do. Volunteer work is something that Dakota has taken on on her own. And this is what's most impressive to me about this part of her life. I just really wanted to give back. We did a couple of assemblies here. and. That was really cool because so I got to stand up and say, I'm a homeless teenager, but you wouldn't know that just looking at me. She's been given a special gift to look beyond her current circumstances in her life and realize that goals and dreams are attainable. I think my next big goal is just college and finding the right college for me. I'm hoping to do something in the ER. Dakota's professional goal in, in university is to get her nursing degree, but I would really love it if she went on and became a doctor. I believe that she could do it. Even if you have had a bad childhood, you can still go to college and you can still do everything that you wanted to do. I just feel so honored that I was chosen to do that.